everyone, it's Julia. A month or so ago, I was visiting my son and my daughter-in-law, and we happened upon a little shop that made uh, leather bags and purses and different things, and they, they had scrap leather, bags of scrap leather on sale. Five bags, or five pounds per bag, and I happened to pick up both a brown bag and a black bag. And there's just random pieces of leather but I thought because I do a lot of craft shows and I also have a little summer shop I thought it'd be just a fun thing to to make up just a bunch of different just a bunch of different crafts and so I thought it'd be fun just to do a, a YouTube series on what I've come up with and just some of the different ideas and please leave a comment if you have any ideas too that'd be great but today I thought I would work on making some flowers I'm using some of my bigs dies so I'll be cutting with the big shot and see what see what happens I I thought about maybe putting some pin backs on some so that, that they'd be they'd be great for putting on hats or bags or totes or you know maybe even a lapel of some sort so I thought about doing that I also have a bunch of these uh, patinas this is made by Ranger and there's they're the Vinge the Vincha um, patinas they're for metal but they're they're extremely opaque so I thought it maybe be kind of fun to just do some experimenting with this too and see if I can get something to go with those I have several different packs of many different colors so uh, yeah let's just kind of experiment and have some fun and I'll kind of take you f along for the ride. Um, I might be doing some vo voiceover and speeding up in some parts of this. And also we'll show you some of the end flowers that I happen to create. Um, many of the layers are gonna be have, gonna have to be, um, of course, put together. And I'm thinking I'm gonna be using uh, um, some met metal rivets for that. So I'll show you kind of that process too. So yeah, hope you enjoy this and let's let's get started creating. I have several cut out. I decided on using these four different bigs dies. I have the Tattered Florals by Tim Holtz, and then the Circle Number Two, the Flower Layers Number Nine, and then the, the another Flower Layers by Sizzix that that isn't actually even labeled. They cut out so slick with the big shot. This leather is not extremely thick. I mean I'm able to cut it with a scissor even quite well. So I thought I would run one through that goes. Let's see. I think I have I wanted to cut a black one out of this one and I'll get these out of the way quick. And get my big shot in here. The cut side is is up. And then I lay the leather so that I know that everything is covered. And then I make my sandwich. And then I'm running it through. I'm only, of course, doing one at a time, one layer at a time, and one layer is enough for one flower. And I'm just going to snap these out of this piece here and there's a little one over here that's kind of hooked in there and there it is that's how it looks start on the painting part of it and this is all going to be trial and error I've never used these paints before so I'm just going to give it a go and I'll I'll show you show you a little bit of the process I've decided on trying to experimenting with these three colors first I have opalite, ruby, and cobalt here. These paints need to be shaken and they have like a little BB in them. So th that's my first step is to get all these all these shaken up the way they need to be. And you can certainly tell that they separate in the little jars. So The best way to apply is with a makeup sponge. So I'm using several different makeup, makeup sponges, one for every color. The paint covers very well, and I'm just kind of continuing with this one and just kind of showing the different layers. It dries very, very quickly, so by the time I get done with the last layer, I'm able to use my sand piece, piece of sandpaper to kind of rough it up. 
I like getting the grain look of the leather and so I really roughed it up with with a um, piece of sandpaper. And the metal rivets. I'm using my my crocodile from Memories Keeper to punch the holes one layer at a time, just kind of marking those holes with a, a, a sharpie. I'm gathering up the layers and putting the brad through. I did have to do some pounding on the back too on flatten the brads out a little bit. And here I'm just showing how the pin back is going to go and a piece of scrap leather to kind of cover up and to secure that brad. Now on to the metal rivets. And again, I'm marking my, my layers and then punching the holes with my crop dial, gathering up my layers. My metal, the post on my rivets was a little bit short. So the four the four layers was a struggle, but I did I did manage to to get it to go. The um three three layers worked worked a lot better. You know I'm pounding the pounding the back of the rivet in place. I really love the rivet look, both on the front and the back. It's just so finished and looks so nice. I got many of the flowers done, and the packaging kind of started. They turned out awesome. I really like both of the ones that I have painted and then some of them I left plain and just kind of left the leather look. One of the things too that I've, I love about these is I'm, I'm able to do some dimension on them by curling, just kind of working them with my fingers. And on the back side, I used the E6000 glue to glue the pin back on and I do use a high quality glue or pin back and I will I will link that down below. These pin backs don't snag and they just they seem to function a lot better than some of the less expensive ones. And then I just use a piece of scrap leather also glued with the E6000 glue right over the pin back just to kind of cover cover up the glue and just to make it finished off on the back side. Here's a close up of this one and again I was able to to do a little bit of the forming of it and just by kind of curling some of the the petals either under or out. The packaging is very simple. I'm think I'm just going to use kind of vintage looking paper. I'll tag it I'll tag the back with kind of what they are, what it is and the price. And then they slip right into these little cellophane containers or little envelopes. 
What's nice about this is I can put them in a basket, either at a craft show or else my little summer shop, my little summer boutique, and then I, and I don't have to do much with them. I just carry the basket out and set the basket on a table, and people can just kind of, kind of sort through them. So I hope you like this video. Um, like I said, this is the first of many of working with this leather and just kind of finding new crafts to make out of this all this leather that I happen to get. So have a great day. I hope you have a chance to create today. Bye.